Today we're at the brand new skate park that just opened up in Claremont Meadows, 15 minutes from Penrith in Sydney's southwest. This park is part of the massive upgrade to the Gyp Street Recreation Precinct here that cost a total of $44.5 million. That is so much money, but this place is actually huge and has so much here. I don't know how much the skate park cost within that $44.5 million, but I've got links to the media releases below for you guys to check out where all the money come from and exactly what's included in this precinct area. But there's so much that's gone into the upgrade here. Fun fact though, this was the council's main waste facility from the 1950s to the 1980s. So this whole precinct here was built on top of an old rubbish tip. It's crazy to see what it's been transformed into now and how many different areas this place is split into for everyone to enjoy. So let's get into the skate park tour here, but it was designed and built by Convict Skate Park, so you already know this is gonna be a great park. This whole precinct area is actually huge, but the car park there is the main skate park car park. There's some basketball courts, parkour section, little basketball court here, and then that leads into the whole skate park section here which I'm going to split into four sections. We've got the big bowl, the small bowl, the actual skate park and then the central zone with the rails. Plus there's a giant pump track over there that I'll show you guys too. So this is the bigger bowl here which isn't that big considering the bowls that are being built these days but this is the bigger section which is sick because it has pool coping on it. There's pool coping on that hip over there too. There's a rail on the hips here so you can air out, grind the rail, come back in. Big taco shell looking thing here. There's a hump in the middle which is weird. I don't know why they do that but I don't know how to skate bowls so I don't know if that's a normal thing or not but this is the big bowl and then the small bowl is just next to it so the small bowl is actually pretty small and it looks like I would actually be able to skate this I'm actually keen to skate this later so there's a spine but it's got a bit of a gap and a hump in the middle there's some corners and bigger sections but just outside of it is another quarter with a, like a slappy ledge kind of thing going down it so this bowl looks pretty fun this central zone here that connects the other sections of the skate park has these sick rails in it that I'm so keen to skate I'll talk about them later but they look so fun but you can skate flat through here as well and skate the rails and then the last section is the actual skate park and then I'll show you the pump track so the skate park's kind of on this one flat level here with the elevated section there which gives you a bit more run up for like the hubbers and stuff so I'll start on the lower section and then we'll work our way up to the top but at the beginning of the lower section you have this quarter pipe section here which will drop in and give you speed for everything in the skate park but this extension here has pool coping on it which looks pretty sick so I'll just do a quick roll through of the bottom section but you've got that volcano feature pole jam rainbow ride on type thing a nice heighted standard flat ledge which is a staple also the the staple flat bar which is perfect it's long and it's round this bank is cool it's got like tiles on it same as that a few of these features actually have the tiled brick so it's going to sound cool when you're rolling across it there's a sick little extension quarter pipe wall on top of that bank that has pool coping as well this middle section looks cool so it's an a-frame but you have to gap to the rail so that's going to be pretty scary to try but this is the the brick i was talking about so the tiles sound good when you're rolling over them. Another manual pad ledge, but it's on a slight slope. This side here is higher than that side. Standard manual pad slappy curb. The feature next to it looks cool. It's like a ledge or a thin concrete kind of rail or granite. I never know what the material is, but it looks cool, this kind of feature to figure something out here. Looks a bit creative. Down the end, you have more quarter pipes to continue the flow. This wall has the tiles on the top, which will sound sick when you're on it. Bit of a bowl corner here, and then we'll work ourselves up to the bigger section up top. So on the top, of this side we have a sick granite hubber again but the hubbers are lower than they actually look they look big but the hubber starts back here so you don't pop to you're there so by the time you get on it it makes it pretty low so i like hubbers like that same as this thing it's a hubber it's the same material but it's square so you can kind of board slide it and treat it like a rail as well but it's also grindable because of how wide it is but that's a sick feature that i haven't seen very often at all at any skate parks this thing i am super keen to skate nice long flat bar on top of the hip so you can grind and pop back over or or come from the bank and grind. There's a lot of opportunities here. You can even skate at flat bar and then pop into the bank. This is that extension I was talking about with the pool coping, but it's funny to see the pool coping is actually upside down, but it still works perfectly. It's coming up the wall. It's not sitting on top. Next to that's this cool cube out ledge type of thing. So you can hit it from the bank, do some wallies or grind it or whatever you want to do. There's some options for you. You can even grind it into the bank. And then over here is the last part of the top. So another hubber identical to the other one, but this is my front side or your backside if you're goofy. This looks super fun. 
It's an outrail out of the bank, but it has a ride-on at the beginning. But the ride-on starts early, so you still have the option to pop out of the bank if you want to hit the, the rail normally. So that's going to be super fun to hit. This is the pump track off to the back of the skate park, and I honestly don't know where to start with this thing. It is absolutely huge. It's an asphalt pump track, which will be better suited for BMX riders or someone with a skateboard with softer wheels. But there's so many different lines that you can hit in between. It goes through the middle. You can go around the outside. There's different jumps and all types of ways that you can ride this but yeah i don't really know how to capture this so i'll try and get some of the boys to do some laps later so you guys can actually see how it flows so as you can see this place looks so good and has absolutely everything here so there's something here for every skill level and every style of skateboarding as usual i'm going to try and get a trick on everything that's here so you can see the size of everything and how the park flows but i'm so keen to skate these zigzag rails here in this central zone there's three of them that look so fun so let's get into skating everything here so i can get into those zigzag rails because i'll be saving those for the end J Palm in the cut right now. I gotta su sub in for Leon for the big bowl. Yeah, I'm not skating this thing, you already know. I'm gonna get some grinds, some tricks, and I'll be back. Actually, let me see that. Backside flip disaster, or what do you call it? Yeah, kick flip back deep. If he lands this, you gotta help my man out. Subscribe to his channel, you gotta support him. Oh, wow, not that Wait, one. Not that one. That. <laughs> oh, that's us. Go and subscribe, Look, he just earned it. When I set up this deck, oh. that was the count. We're going up now. 
Let's go. Good work, son. Wait, wait, let's do big, big bowl recap. I definitely recommend if you have pads, wear the pads because it's a super slippery park. Bring some pads and definitely a helmet along with that. It would take you about an hour to get used to, to be honest. An hour? Mate, it's a pretty difficult bowl. It looked That's... like you were chilling. Yeah. Difficult. This guy. I know. My man's too humble. You earned the subscribers. Thank you. Go and sub to his channel, J Palm. Next we up, out. 10,000 coming your 10, way. 10,000. It's on the way, boys. <laughs> it's on the way. So a massive positive about this place is this whole precinct area is absolutely huge. There's different playgrounds, water play spaces, dog parks, walking trails, football fields, soccer fields. There's cricket sections, basketball courts, parkour sections. There's so much more here than just the skate park. And then when it comes to the skate park, there's five different zones. So it's split up perfectly for so many people to be there at once, but it not be too busy. So the pump track off to the back is massive. Massive. You've got the bigger bowl, you've got the smaller bowl, you've got the actual skate park itself and then the central area where you can play skate, skate the flat ground and then skate those three rails that are there, which was my favorite to skate that whole time. I already want to go back to this park just to skate those three rails in the middle section. So there's so much variety here, there's so much space for a lot of people and all of the skatable obstacles have so much variety as well so they accommodate to different levels of skills and different styles of skating too. The skate park flows well and there's a lot of space between obstacles and I really like how they've put the granite all the way through the skate park. So the granite hovers and then there's a granite slappy kind of curb in the small bowl. And the big corner in the small bowl has these slits in the coping too. So when you grind it, it sounds really sick. So I really like the attention to detail like that. The negatives of this place though, there aren't many, but the number one negative that is at every skate park that's being built these days is having the wood chips scattered around the outsides of the skate park. So many people were getting smashed today, just hitting the bark, their board stopping, and then them just slamming on the concrete. I get that it looks good. I don't know who decides to do this all the time, but this is such a big problem that continues to happen. While we were there, there was council workers coming and dumping more wood chips into the garden. So any little gust of wind or anything happening, those bark just come out, land on the skate park, go everywhere, and then it's just so dangerous. So this is another park that you're gonna have to bring a big leaf blower to, to get all that stuff out of the way before you actually skate. As for the negatives of the skate park itself, I couldn't really find any. I really like parks like this that have a variety of lots of rails and ledges and then they've got smaller kind of transitions leading up to bigger transitions and then they've got the bowls separately so I couldn't really skate the bowls I gave the smaller one a little go I got Jay to skate the bigger one to show you guys but I like how they're separate so the bowl skaters can enjoy the bowls and then I can just enjoy the skate park people like me that like rails and ledges so there's plenty of shade all over the skate park there's different zones where you can just chill out in the shade if it gets too hot there's lots of water refill stations around the park too there's lots of bins there's a toilet in between the big bowl and the small bowl so Section, and this park does have lights until 9 p.m. So this skate park is amazing. Convict did such a great job and I really like it and can't wait to go back already. If you enjoyed this, check out the last skate park review video I did right here at Umina Skate Park. That's two hours up the central coast away from Sydney, but that one's massive. It's really good and worth checking out as well.